Kirzen and welcome to my vlog. Today I'll be answering some questions from our viewers regarding online safety. Let's get started. Before answering your questions, let me tell you first what is ICT. ICT stands for Information and Communication Technologies. It is the use of combined technologies such as the internet, telephone, video and computer systems for information, communication, and collaboration. Now, let's start answering some questions. So our first question is from Christoph0511. My email is always getting hacked. Can you give me some tips for better security on my email? Since your email is always getting hacked, have you considered changing your password? A password is a crucial part of security online. Using a strong password can help you get more security. A strong password should be eight to 10 characters long, have a combination of letters and numbers, small and capital letters, and if allowed, punctuation marks. Never use your name, birthday, or address as those things can be easily found out. Let's go to our next question. We have a question from an older group. Could you please explain to me what a firewall is? Thank you, that is a great question. A firewall is basically a software that protects your computer. It is kind of like a firewall for houses. It protects your computer from danger when you're not present instead of your house. Make sure to turn on your firewall to make sure that your computer is safe from intruders. Our next question. My antivirus is already expired and I am planning not to renew it again. Is that the best choice? Because I think my antivirus is not working. No, you should renew it, and if you don't, you might regret that decision in the near future. An antivirus software helps protect your computer from malware such as viruses. You wouldn't want any viruses attacking your computer, right? An antivirus is like your own personal internet bodyguard. It quickly alerts you if there's a problem in your computer, and it offers real-time protection against viruses so that it can delete and disinfect a virus before it can damage your computer. I hope that information helped you. Let's go to the next question. Um, this one is from a student. I am a student and I usually go to computer shops to do my homework and research because we don't have a computer at home. Can you give me some advice to be safer on these types of computers? My number one advice is to always log out when you are done with your activities on a website especially when you're using public computers. Don't just close the tab of the website. You also have to log out because the website keeps you logged in. This is so that you can prevent other people from accessing your files online without your consent. And then the next question. I've been wanting to download this free version of a paid app from this website. Is that okay? Because I am saving a lot of money from it. It is better to download apps from authorized distributors. It may be saving you money, but it is also risking your computer safety. Don't download or install software from unknown websites because you could unknowingly be downloading malware onto your computer. Thank you for that question. So that was the last of our questions for this vlog. I hope you learned something from this vlog and I enjoyed entertaining your questions. Remember that the internet could be the most useful place, but if you're not careful, it could be the most dangerous. Thank you for watching. Bye.